Well, hello, I'm Robert, this is Brad, and we're here today with clarity to debunk the rule of seven, that you gotta have seven impressions to, before somebody will buy something. What's wrong with that in the digital age? Yeah, you know, I don't know if there's anything wrong with it, but there's been a lot of talk recently, a Forbes article uh, really highlighted what's really critical in today's kind of marketing world, if you will, with the consumers. You know, one of the key things they said was, is that only about 3% of your clientele, your, your particular audience that we always like to say is ready to buy. So why are we hounding and hounding and hounding and hounding all these people? I mean, I think at some point you do have to reach a larger audience. So you have to have reach and impressions. But how much benefit are you actually getting? We always get told ROI, ROI, ROI. So you have to think about that. And one of the things the article highlighted, which is what we've been saying for a while, is with your product or your brand, you have to kind of create a journey through that sales funnel, right? Yes. Old school sales funnel. And that experience and that journey with your product or your service by basically just becoming a resource for them. Uh, information on how to use the product, things that are associated with your product or service that doesn't necessarily is about yeah. your product or service. Well, give your current customers and your prospects helpful, useful information mm -hmm. to solve the the simple pain points in their life. And Every, then everyday things. If you build their trust, then you might get that call. They might become. Yeah, I you know. think the key is, is that building that trust will eventually, you have to, the, the bottom line is you have to connect at a different level than just come by my yeah. product and we can solve a problem A, yeah. right? You have to also be B, C, D, yeah. E, and F nowadays because the consumer's educated. You talked about you gotta make the connection where yeah, it's got in the heart. It can't just be yeah. in the pocketbook anymore. You can't just sell on features and benefits and say, well, this is a great product and this is a great price. It's got to be, you've got to hit them here. Mm -hmm. um, I recently bought a new set of golf clubs, not you, they were used. But one of the things that always comes out with golfers and any kind of anybody that has a hobby, whether it's bike riding, mountain bike riding, golfing, camping, appearance is important, right? Oh, yeah. You like the look of the club. When you hold the club in your hand, it sits on the ground. It looks good on the ground. It feels good in your hand. You swing it. You hit the ball. Same thing with everything. I sit on a bike. It feels good. It rides good. I go to the next brand. Maybe it doesn't feel the same or whatever. So it, it's, it's making that connection at different levels amongst the whole experience around that product. So sure, I may be on a mountain bike that's $4,000. But I might have had a better experience from a product yeah. standpoint on one that was 800 because it fit better yeah. and I've liked it more or whatever. I'm still in the same place, right? I'm still in the same environment. I'm still in the same mountain. But because the product made a different connection with me in my heart, if you will, yeah. then I bought that product and I had a better experience. So I think you've said the, the most important thing here to close this on and is that people don't buy features and benefits. That comes into it later. They buy experience. You're buying an experience. So if yeah. you're if you're not creating experiences in social and your website and information and content, it's always about content, yeah. then you're losing audience. That's the clarity clip of the week. Focus on experiences. Have a good one, guys.